Hi, my name is Mark Greenberg. I'm a group director in the IP group at Cadence, and today my Whiteboard Wednesday topic is about inline ECC for DDR. So first question is, why do we have, well, what is ECC? So let me explain what ECC is a little bit. ECC is error correcting code, and these error correcting codes have been used in high-end servers for 30 years, something like that. And the way ECC has always worked is that we've had a data bus, and it's typically 64 bits wide, and then we have an extra DRAM device, which is 8 bits wide. And together, these 72 bits form uh, a data plus e error correcting code. And anything that we write into these uh, 64 bits, um, these 8 error correction bits, can be used to either uh, correct one bit of data or to detect if there's been a 2-bit error. So this is the way that, it, that ECC, sideband ECC as we call it, has worked for the last 30 years or so. Um, and that's great. But we're in a slightly different world now. One of the things that's changed is the fact that we have LPDDR4 memories. And these LPDDR4 memories are starting to be used in applications like automotive applications where a level of error correction is required. So why is it different? Well, LPDDR4 devices are available in uh, fixed widths. And those are typically, with an LPDDR4 device, it's actually uh, a device that's been divided in half and it has a 16-bit interface on one side and a 16-bit interface on the other. And so I've got two 16-bit interfaces, and that's great. I could, if I wanted to, uh, build a 64-bit interface out of these. But I'm still kind of stuck with the problem that I don't have a single 8-bit device um, that I can stick off to the side as I had in the sideband ECC case. So um, what I can do instead is to try to take these eight bits of data, these extra eight bits of data, and somehow fold them into the same bus that I'm using to, um, to construct the data. And so what I, what I do then is every time I want to do a, a transaction in an inline ECC case, what I'll do is I'll send um, a certain amount of data, and depending on the bus width, it could be 16 bits. I could have two of these together uh, to make 32 bits if I wanted to. And, um, and basically, every time I send my 16 bits or my 32 bits with these, with these joined together, uh, every, time I, every time I send my data into, uh, into my DRAM devices, I would also send um, an, a, a, a set of error correcting codes, which will allow me then to, um, uh, to be able to detect errors when I subsequently read the data back. So, uh, what do I, how does this look in the system? Well, if you imagine the, uh, the logical address space of the, uh, of the device, so if I have a, uh, a logical address space, you know, starting here down at address zero and um, going up to the maximum amount of uh, data that's configured, so in this case, let's say it's, it's one gigabyte, then, um, uh, then what I would do is I would most likely, in most situations, I would write the data that I need to do here, and when I've reached um, a cert when I've reached either the end of that transaction or when I've reached um, a, uh, a, a certain threshold, then what I'll start doing is, is writing um, the ECC data after it. So if I have the data here, for, data, for efficiency reasons, I may actually locate it somewhere else physically in the address space. Sometimes that may be up at the top. And uh, so I'll do some data transactions and then do some error correcting code transactions and, and write that into the device. When, uh, when it's time to do the reverse, I do the reverse operation. So I'll read my data uh, when I'm trying to get the data out of my DRAM. I will read the data, and I'll read the ECC. I'll check that the data is correct with the ECC code. And then uh, if there's a correction required, I'll do a uh, correction. If, um, if the data is good, then I'll pass it on to the system, and we're all ready to go. So that's a very, very quick summary of what uh, inline ECC is. Basically, I've taken the old school sideband ECC, and I've folded that error correcting code into, uh, into the bus width that I have in, uh, in the available memory that I have. And every time I do a transaction, uh, a data transaction, then I also do an ECC transaction to be able to uh, correct the data in the data transaction. 
So that's my Whiteboard Wednesday. Tune in again next week, and we'll have another one for you.